the privilege of an education. When did it change from being a privilege to receive an education to an entitlement? While visiting a school in rural China, it didn't take long for me to remember just how much I needed to appreciate our education system. I say rural China, but really, the town had tens of thousands of people in it. But it wasn't quite like a town you or I would recognize. Driving through the heart of town, we came across local farmers drying their entire wheat crop in the streets. So pulling up to a school that was located on a dirt road didn't shock me too much. What I did find shocking and humbling was what I saw when I went inside the school. The playground, an open courtyard. Desks, two or three students shared each one. Chairs, a two by four on legs. Technology, one would hardly consider their chalkboard technology made for the 21st century learner. Electricity, only found in the main office and restroom. Classrooms were lit with daylight and rooms were cooled with open windows. Students, they were eager to learn. They woke at 4 a.m. each morning to do chores and then some had to walk almost two miles to school. The students had been learning English and we sang Old MacDonald together. They were overly excited about the pencils, erasers, and stickers we had brought them. There was a joy and excitement about learning in that classroom. The students there didn't know any different. My students know differently. That's why I show them these pictures at the beginning of each school year, so they will appreciate the education system that they have available to them, understanding that education should be a privilege, not an entitlement.